Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on my video to watch. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Poshmark tips and hacks on buying from the app. So Poshmark is a app where you can buy and sell clothes, accessories, home decor, makeup, all kinds of stuff. And I believe I've been using the app for a year now. I always mention how much I love it because I've always been a thrifter myself, so I really like to find good deals. And I also like to sell my items so that I can keep buying new ones as well. So it kind of goes both ways. It's a really fun app, especially now with all of us having to mainly shop online, it's really convenient. So I am wanting to do two parts to this video. This one will be my buying tips. I also want to film a selling tips one because I have a lot of really good selling tips as well. If you want to see that, be sure to like this video and let me know in the comments below. Before we hop on into the video, please don't forget to subscribe. Click that little bell beside the subscribe button. That way you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. Also be sure to like this video if you enjoy it. And if you'd like to know all of my tips, then please just keep watching. Okay, so my first tip is to search and try and find bloggers Poshmarks because they are probably going to have the clothes that are still new with tags on them. A lot of the time they just wear them once for a photo shoot and then they want to sell them so they can get new clothes for new pictures. And you really are getting the best deal when you're basically getting brand new clothes with the tags still attached. So one way to do that is you can just search up your favorite blogger's name in the search bar on Poshmark. Whether it's a fashion blogger, makeup blogger, or a design blogger, just search up your favorite ones in the search bar, see if they even have a Poshmark, or you could try messaging them on Instagram and asking if they have one. You can also search for clothes that are only new with tags, which is an easy way to find if anyone's selling brand new clothes with tags on them. And you're also most likely to find a blogger amongst all of those because they often have items in their closet that are new with tags. Also, you can look for really curated photos on Poshmark. So photos that look like they are from someone's Instagram, really posed with a nice filter. That's a good way to spot them as well amongst all of the rest. But the number one way I have found bloggers to buy clothes from is just from searching the new tags. items. So as you are scrolling through the items, which you can either scroll through by category, item, or brand. I really like to do it by brand because I have my favorite brands and then it's just a lot easier for me to pick out clothes that I like. So as you're scrolling, make sure you like everything that you're interested in, that you see. They have a little heart like a button and I think you can actually double tap the picture too and it saves all of your items to your liked list so you can go back and refer to that later when you're ready to buy your items. It's easier to do it that way because if you find a lot of items that you like, then you can go back and choose the ones that are your most favorite if you're not wanting to spend the money and buy literally all the items that you see. So another reason why you shouldn't just buy everything you like right away, because since you can go back to your likes list and refer to it, you can choose the items that you're really wanting and then you can go back to the search bar and search up that specific item to see if any other sellers are selling that item for a cheaper price. Or maybe if you didn't find that item new with tags, you'll find it from a different seller that's brand new or in better condition. So it's always good to just save all your likes first and then go back later because you might just find the same exact item. While you're searching, make sure you find items that have good descriptions and good photos. You're not gonna wanna buy from someone that is just putting up stock photos that they found online because then you're not actually seeing the product you are buying. You can comment on sellers' posts, so don't be afraid to comment and just ask if they can post photos of the actual product that they own. That way you can see the condition that it's in, if it looks like the stock photo looks. I've done that plenty of times and a lot of the time I haven't ended up buying the product because the coloring is not the same or the photo just didn't match the actual product in some way. So Poshmark is not a huge retail store so it doesn't have the same return policy as those stores would. You buy at your own risk and they really only let you do a return for the items if it's the wrong item, if the item is damaged, or if it's not as described. So if you buy something without seeing the actual product then the seller can potentially get away with sending you a product that you weren't actually expecting. Also, if you're considering buying someone's product, make sure you go to their profile and check the reviews. Poshmark only shows the nice reviews that people leave. If a seller doesn't actually have any or many reviews and you can see that they've sold items, that may be a bad sign. But if they have a lot of good reviews, then obviously they are a pretty good seller. You can also see their average ship time. So if you're 
wanting to get your item pretty quick and their average ship time is five days and you may not want to order from them because your item might take too long to get to you depending on where they're located but if they haven't shipped within seven days and then you can cancel your order and get all of your money back so there is a flat rate for shipping per seller you are buying from so you're gonna have to pay for shipping each time you buy from a new seller so a really good idea is if you find something you like on your likes list click on their profile because if you found one thing that you liked from that seller you're probably gonna find a bunch more from the same seller that you're gonna like as long as they have a nice full closet so if I find something that I really like from one seller I make sure that I scroll through their whole entire feed and I like everything that they're selling from their profile and if you do find multiples that you like from one seller then you can make your own bundle you can actually start adding items to a bundle per seller you're buying from so for example this is a bundle that I personally bought off of Poshmark by the way these are all from a blogger and they're all new with tags so this was a really great steal so I found a bodysuit some sweatpants and then a hoodie and that way I only had to pay one shipping rate for this bundle so when you're ready to buy your items you can just buy the item right away and that obviously ensures that you're gonna be the buyer that is getting the item right away because there is a possibility that another buyer can go ahead and swipe up the item that has never personally happened to me I feel like it would rarely happen but it definitely can happen so if you really really want the item then definitely go ahead and buy it right away but I would suggest always making an offer because Poshmark allows you to make any offer that you want. If I just find a single item from a seller, then I usually offer five to ten dollars less than what they're selling the item for. And if I have a bundle, then sometimes I'll ask for a little bit more off. Most of the time, as long as you're not lowballing the seller, then they will usually accept reasonable offers basically all the time, which makes your purchase even more affordable now. Sometimes sellers are also faster to send you an offer because sellers can also send you an offer which you can either accept or counter offer. If you are selling items, you can create a special discount if people are buying bundles. So sometimes if you bundle two or three items from one particular seller, then they automatically give you, say, a 15% discount on the bundle. So make sure you check their description for that if that's what you're looking for. When you find items that you like from a certain seller, and maybe you've already bought in from them or you just really like their closet and want to keep up to date make sure you follow them because it makes it really easy to just go back and check if you keep your following list pretty small to just the sellers that you really really love their clothes from then it just makes it really easy to go back through the list i basically go through my list of following every single day to see if they posted any new items in their closet that way i can snatch it up pretty quickly and then the last little thing is when you receive your package Make sure you check everything fairly quickly so you can accept your order right away because then it releases the funds to the seller. Poshmark gives you three business days to check over your order and accept it. And if you don't accept it within three business days, then they automatically release the funds. But if you can check everything and everything comes in great condition and you love your items, then make sure you go back on the app pretty quickly and accept the order, leave them a little nice review because that obviously helps them out. And you can also do a rating on what you receive. That also keeps a good relationship because then if you're wanting to continue to buy from that seller, and you've left them nice reviews and good ratings, then they're probably more likely going to send you a discount for next time or accept offers that you send their way. Okay guys, well that is it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you wanna see a Poshmark selling tips video because I would love to do that. I also sell my items on Poshmark and I've had pretty good success. I've almost sold every single thing that I've put on there using some tips that I go by. So I would love to film that video for you guys. Let me know if you want to see it. Please don't forget to subscribe for you leave, like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.